Hi, and thank you for watching European Travel Magazine. We continue our search for the best hikes here in Algarve, and we've come to the Camino dos Promotorios, which means Trail of the Headlands. It starts here from Portimao uh, and reaches um, Cabuero. You can also start the other way around, but we found that the last part uh, just before Cabrero has some um, cliffs that are dangerous to pass by. So it's more safe to start here and turn around uh, whenever you don't want to go anymore. All right, so... So the trail starts here in Portimao. And we are here and it follows this beautiful stretch of coastland past some lovely beaches and ends here Praia do Cabuero Let's see how far we get This last part is um, perhaps not accessible but it's really one of the most beautiful hikes in Algarve something we can definitely recommend So, let's go for a hike During the summer of 2018 this new pedestrian route, Trail of the Headlands, was inaugurated. Just like its sister trail on the other side of Cabuero, the Seven Hanging Valleys Trail, this hiking path offers amazing views of this unique seascape. The coastline of Lagoa is rugged with a continuous line of steep cliffs over the ocean. This morphology is defined by a peculiar geology, slowly shaped by rain, waves and wind. The Trail of the Headlands follows the contour of the coast and extends for 6 kilometers between the car park at Praia de Molho, next to the mouth of the river Arad, and the beach of Paraíso, near the village of Cabuero. First, the Ponta do Altar advances 260 meters into the sea. Heading east from here, a succession of headlands alternated with rocky ravines, sheltering small beaches or boulders resulting from ancient landslides. Limestone cliffs, heavily fissured and inaccessible to terrestrial predators, offer refuge for the rock dove, yellow-legged gull, common kestrel and even the peregrine falcon. Some of the beaches we encounter on our way are inaccessible, which makes them look absolutely pristine and like paradise, really. All right, here we can see a natural cave out uh, there. And up there, there you can see um, uh, an old watchtower. So, we reached the watchtower and it says here along the Portuguese coast and particularly in the Algarve, watchtowers has been built since ancient times. Here at Torre da Lapa, in case of danger, torchbearers would make smoke during the day and light fires at night, alerting the populations and other fortifications in the region. The scrublands that dominate these limestone beds are defined by juniper bushes and kermis oak. Along the edge of the cliffs there are plants like the Mediterranean salt bush, which have adapted to the maritime influence. The cliffs are carved in a limestone massif of the Miocene period, easily chiseled by the fresh and salty waters, creating a so-called karst landscape. At this section of our Gulf's coastline, you'll encounter caves, grottoes, and geoforms, resulting from the underground circulation of fresh water. Along the trail, you'll find information on panels about the geology of the area, marine ecosystems, and coastal vegetation, along with testimonies of the ancient human occupation of the coast. We are on the way back to Portimao, which hides back there. Alright, and the 
white city you can see here in the background there is Lagos and if you follow that out there we have Ponte de Piedade also a beautiful spot with um, cliffs and natural caves and a lighthouse and some boardwalks that are absolutely magnificent also a hike uh, that we can recommend um, on your way back you can just enjoy this wonderful stopover for a lunch, a drink, coffee it has the most gorgeous views and just a skip and a hop and you're back at your car for more information about beautiful hikes in the Algarve and the rest of Europe, please visit us on our website e-travelmag.com or on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.